looking to modifying this motor as a winding motor for the call I'm gonna wind, wind for this clock so I've got this clock and pieces here and I've got this old Meccano yeah. I've got this old Meccano piece here for winding and I want to use that motor to drive it I used to have lots of Meccano but I lost it I don't know what happened but I've got some gears and I'm I don't want to drill it out, so I'll make an adapter for this gear wheel to fit on this shaft. And with that I'm going to drive this device. I've got the adapter plate made for the Meccano. This principle should work. It's not perfect, but it's... There will be good winding speed on this uh, bottom shaft here. Top system seems to work. Not perfect. Nice Kalua coffee as well. That's pretty good running speed. So wow, that green wire is number 34 wire. Just modifying the wheel um, so it will uh, fit on the shaft. So I made a couple of inserts which I glue on the side so it doesn't bounce. Well, I've got the winding mechanism sorted. This is working. Only thing is the counter runs uh, 36 divided by 40. Uh, too slow. Because the middle ratio gear, this one, 36 T sets 40 T. But um, I can calculate it out. So now she'll do the first uh, cut and then uh, start doing my winding. Now I've sanded this wire, this fine sandpaper, and now I need to make the connection here. That's the hard part, that needs to be done carefully. There's no need to call, wind up a whole coal and then it comes apart. That's not good when that happens. Oh, it's an open circuit, so I need to twist it around here if I can do this, because I can't see bugger all with the camera. I need to do that off camera and it's too hard. I think I did manage to get a couple of turns on there, so we'll see how it's going to work out. Uh, the solder, solder, solder. Fuck. Dang, that melted on, so that makes a good connection there. I've taped it up carefully. Being seven, five, seven, six, eight. I'm gonna start it, and hopefully it's gonna work. Or it's gonna turn to custard. Not gonna be perfect, but I'm not so worried about it as long as it works. Okay, energized motor. Okay, 
This one looks pretty good. I'm actually quite happy with it. You put a layer of this stuff in. This is the plumber's material. That is uh, tape or for sealing uh, leaky gaskets and stuff. And that seems to be it's nice and thin. Hang on. Got a little layer here because it's more voltage drop on that side, so energize the device again and start spinning. Seven eight four nine. Progress is pretty good. Works better than I thought. This uh, winding at the moment. Close to the final, and I'm not sure how many turns is on there. Really, 3,000 to 4,000 turns, I think, I need to do the calculation. I didn't write the start reading down, but I can either use a transformator or use a capacitor in series to make this thing work. I'm just going to bind this off shortly. Some tape on the over it and then uh, close it all up. Yeah, I think we'll do it too, that will do. The energized uh, single on this motor, a correction induction motor.
this plumper stove is actually fantastic it's nice and thin it merges in into sides quite nicely click couple more turns Final soldering point. Hang on, let's get that on carefully. Test and satisfied with that. Final reading on the counter is 78988. For the moment of truth, we'll check the continuity of the call. Zero point two three seven kilo ohms, so it's two hundred thirty seven ohms. That's pretty good, I'm happy with that. I'll put it back in the clock, that's going to be the fun part. I'll put the call assembly back. Now the fun part, stacking this assembly back together, see if it's going to work. And the first ones are easy, the later ones going to be harder. I will see. to get this together. Now I need to work out where this thing goes. I think it can, was on that side. That's to shunt to get an unbalanced uh, situation so the call will uh, provide a talk. I'll just have a refresh on my video. Well I got a call on the mechanism so the disc appears to be free running. I'll show you. Energize a variac and I got it connected up to the variac and we'll see if the clock works And it works Well, this is about 70 volts I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature of the coal because I'm gonna put other capacitors or something else in series just to reduce the voltage, um, but I just want to do the test one first. Just feeling if the coal gets warm. That's ah, cold, that's good. Probably can have a higher voltage, but um, I'll just take it carefully. Okay, and adjust the device. A little charge of the main spring. is happy this particular pin I'm not sure if you can see it that's the brake when the spring the root fader or the spring in the drum is forced let's start slowing it down this let's cook for very well and then I need to clean up the other little spray of some stuff Not ideal, but I need to do a bit of lubrication. I'm just going to de-energize quickly and test the temperature. That's called beautiful energized device. I need to let the spring charge up and off, so hopefully the clock movement will start moving. 
Come stage. Pleasing sound. Yeah, the needle is now clearly visible. That's this brake needle here. That will come down when the spring is charged up and off. Okay, the current being drawn is about 69 milliampere. Let's put a milliampere meter in series. I always like to have the lowest currents and voltages possible, so I seem to be quite happy at 50 volts. So, uh, happy with this, and I'll let this percolate and see if it can wind its spring to the full uh, strings, and I'll put it up in another video, clock running.